Babalik ang inyong PBA, Coach Alex Compton, talking to his guys. Ito ang isang stick move, hindi sa atin ng Jack and Jill Iceman Candy. Ilabas ang tapang. Kung tapang lang naman ang pag-uusapan, eh, nasa kwentuhan palagi si Calvin Abuelo. That's right. Saka si Belga. Oh, <laughs> si Nyan. Yan. Puro matanda. Si Aranya. <laughs> A lot of them from Rain or Shine. Oh. Pati si Coach Yang Giao. Pasok muna dyan sa usapan ng matatapang. And there's the drive. A foul is called of Big Ximignano. Penalty situation for the Aces. So that's gonna be free throws para kay Lethal Weapon Paul Lee. Medyo maaga sila every quarter because they've been a little aggressive on their defense. Agresibo naman si ang Reynor Shine sa loob na lumalaro. No? So, eliciting those kind of fouls to get the other team into penalty. Quiet 12 points so far para kay Paul Lee. Gawin mo nang labing tatlo. Apat na lang ang lamang ng Alaska Aces. 4.47 remaining. Hindi nagkakalayo talaga itong dalawang kapunan na ito throughout this ball game as we turn you over once again to Sel Guevara. This will continue to be a running game for both teams. Sabi ni Coach Alex, use your speed. At ang Rainer Shine naman, kahit hindi maka-execute ang maayos, sabi ni Coach Yang Yao, dapat lagi lang kayo mag-rebound bago tumakbo. Balik sa inyo, Charlie. Thanks a lot, Sel. Uy! Dito natin yung drive na yun. Calvin Abueva, parang ang layo ng take-off niya. Was able to hit that shot. Yeah, he's a su su suicidal type of player. That's an offensive foul of Paul. He knew it. He had no space. So he lowered his shoulder. Yung pagsak si Abueva, medyo... Oh, in pain. I think that's a little bit of... Uh, ano, hindi naman ganun siguro. Baka natamaan lang ng kamay niya. Ayun, dami kasi yung plaster na nun. Oh, But I think he's okay. I don't think Paul really hit it that hard. That was the first move where he laid up, where he said he was gliding. Here he takes the charge. Ito sinabayan na niya, he sold the uh, offensive foul. <laughs> At nagpahinga na rin ang oh, yeah. on the hard court. Galing na ako sa hirap dun eh. Ako pa bumalik dito sa defense eh. <laughs> That's just the type of player he is, no? Parang hindi nalulopat yun si Galvin Abueva. Tuloy-tuloy talaga no ang energy. No sense, no sense, no sense. Turn around jumper pa mula sa kanya, in and out! Bell got the rebound and Norwood will push it up. Under four minutes remaining. Six point lead. Jericho Cruz! What a beautiful sidestep and reverse mula dyan sa rookie. Well, Eric does not have the footing to stop him on the perimeter. He knew that. The thing there is the poise shown by the rookie against a veteran player. Ngayon, nagbagsakan na sila dalawa doon. Eventually, the foul called on Aranya. Abueva and Aranya, two of the most physical players in the league. They're just kissing and making up. Kuntuhan lang naman niya. Yeah, yeah. Ito mo na makasak. Yung dalawang players. Tuloy-tuloy yung action eh. The action never stops for these players. Warning and pa si Alex Compton for continuous complaining. I think the referees did the right thing there. You want to have control of the game. You don't want to be bothered by uh, complaints about the officiating. <laughs> literally okay. First free throw in para kay uh, The Beast. Sabi nga natin, not, not an explosive offensive game para kay Calvin Abueva. He said it a while ago, but he's got 14 points. And again, not a good foul. I mean, you just made two free throws, and then you know you're in the penalty. He averages 17, a little over 17 points a game. He's at 14 right now, so a little below his average. But in the foul, sending Paul Lee to the line. Sana man ang leading scorer para sa Rainer Shine and Alaska Painters. He just shot a while ago by Jericho Cruz. That's a swak shot. At yun sa atin ng Honda Wave 125 Alpha, ang motor na swak sa gilas mo. He's making some headway here because he's been sent to the free throw line and so far he's been doing his thing, which is making free throw shots. So he's above his average. He averages 14 a game. Then as a game tonight, it's Paul Lee. Just a three-point lead. Anybody's ball game, 318 remaining at the fourth quarter clock. Casho, top of the key, three. Pass up, yes! They come up with the hardest shots. And those are what you call pressure players. Yan pilitang ginawa ni Paul dyan na agawan. Baguio. Has to go to Mick. They're in the backward. They need to cross. And they do just in time. Yeah, they, they beat. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Talagang binabantayan mo yun, ha? Exactly, exactly talaga. 
I was waiting for the whistle. In fact, if somebody bobbled on that play, they might have been caught. Down to five seconds to go. What are they going to do? Castro can shoot from anywhere, as he does, and that's off target. Rebound taken by Jeff Chan. The Mama Darina and Rainer signed the six point lead. Belga to the hoop. Gets two. Still a lot of time left in this ball game. A warning given against Rainer Shine for delaying the ball game, holding on to the ball there, tapping it out. Kinetic ni Belga pagkatapos po ba? Eh, mamaya football. Bukas, bukas may football. Askas, maglalaro bukas. Ito, Gabe Norwood, chance to cut it to four. Or to two, rather. It stands at four right now, and Paul Lee. Time and again, nakakuha ng contact, babalik sa linya si Lee. And it's almost futile, you know, you, you try to stop Paul Lee, but if you foul him, it's like you're giving the two points. Alam mo ang problema dito, medyo pagod na yung mga ibang players ng Alaska. Kaya hindi sila nakakabalik. Ang ginagawa ng Rainer sa iyo, atake lang ng atake after the previous. Well, a substitute here, sending a fresh player for Eximignano. He's done his job, actually. He might have played about eight straight, eight or nine straight playing minutes. Oh, Paul Lee finally missing one. And a, and a big one at that. Huh? Yeah, na naman, Dr. J. Kakapurin lang natin sa free throw shooting na isang player. Nag-win this na agad. He's human. He's five out of six in the last free throws he has made. So that's still a very good percentage. Just a three-point lead para sa Alaska. He has a minute and 40 remaining. Don't, don't go to the corner. Catch of three. It's way offline. You can see that. And Paul was there to challenge. Ito na naman si Paul Lee. Attack him. He'll go straight into the defense. Drop it over to Gabe Norwood. Bring up the rear is Bo Belga. He'll go into the lane. Slip in for another shot. Bo Belga, 18 points in the game. Down to just a one-point lead. That's 16 points, rather, para kay Bo Belga. One-point lead, Alaska Aces, a minute and 24 remaining. Sige natin yung pasa na, no? Nahuli si Bo Belga, pero siya naman ang nanguna. All the way to the hoop. Well, if you know Bo, he always attacks, dribbling with his left hand, going to his left side. He can finish with the left, but if you are a little bit late, then he'll come back with you. So, you know, yun ang kanyang strong side sa back attack sa back. Kung makichismis tayo sa huddle ni Coach Alex. Come out and get it, okay? Calvin, you step out. You got a V-cut, okay? Lalabas ka rito. E, when you throw it to Calvin, I need you to sprint here. Okay, Calvin, you're going to get the ball. Cyrus, I want you here. Yeah, Cyrus, I want you here. Don, you're taking it out. JV's here, okay? On the swing, Don, go corner. JV, you're up. We're running pinky twice. So, Calvin, you're going to dribble hand off to JV. Eric, flare screen for Cyrus. Come off the ball screen. Calvin, you're replaced. If you got a shot, I'm fine. Hey, you're you're open. Open. And then we come back. Don's going to come off the second flare screen. Let's look at the standings once again. These are the second and third ranked teams so far. Alaska's last game of the elimination round. If they win, they are in the semis. If they lose, they probably will have to go through the quarterfinals with it twice to beat. Pero masakit yun because they've been leading this tournament from the very start. Falter lang sila, you know, against Barajo in the last ball game. Contra sa Ginebra, just two losses for them. And now, just a one-point lead. JV Casio Poli, nakasabitan ng kanilang mga binte, and they're not in the penalty, though. Rainer Shank. Side court inbound lang yan para sa Alaska Aces. Donton will execute the inbound pass mula sa harap ng kanyang coach na si Alex Compton. Now, both teams are will be in the penalty now. Alaska was there earlier, no? much earlier. Here's Baguio, leaves it for Mech. Mech di discarte, the fake, going up, hard foul. Mula kay Bo Belga. You know, the other players knew that they wanted to go to Mech. You had to get into the trenches for the end game, Charlie. So you want a guy that knows how to play inside. Those are the high percentage shots. He fakes. Birang bira kung magat yung si Bo, ah. But Bo, of course, with his hard foul, <laughs> para walang layup. Tapos afterwards, meron pang konting usapan si Belga at si Abueva. Pero hindi naman si Bo doesn't fool around with Eric, and Eric doesn't fool around with them either. You know? He just plays the game. Jeff Chan had to get in between Belga and Abueva. 
Mick, solid ball game. Two free throws, pasok yan para sa veterano. A very crucial free throws at this stage. Every point counts. These guys got 18 points in the game. And almost double figures in rebounds, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we'll right. see, we'll check. Napaka solid din laro nito si Eric Mick. As we see Paul Lee kicks over to Jericho Cruz, the rookie. Confident stroke, but doesn't go. It's a rebound. Eric Mix diving on the ground. Held ball. It's a held ball. Eric did not have possession, so he could not call a timeout. Neither did Paul, I think. So it's going to be a held ball situation. And look at these competitors. Bakbakan nga kung sa bakbakan. Pero Abueva, game lead, pulls Paul Lee off that floor. Royal Rumble yung nangyari nun eh. Parang wrestling lang. I mean, let's see if they got the players right because it's Paul Lee. It's right, not right. Dave Norwood. <laughs> nice uh, try to, for the switcheroo on that play. And Abueva taps it to the wrong guy. Bo Belga nakuha ang bola. Down by three. Lee wants to tie it up. Yes, yes he does! Pinanood na naman ni Ontiveros yun. Kaya nga, libre, libre. And you know, Paul Lee, when it comes to crunch time, Ibayan. Ikaw na, nagsabi kanina, Dr. J. Paul Lee, one of the best crunch time players in the PBA, has made himself into one of those. A very confident stroke, alam naman natin, para kay Paul Lee. So, tabla tayo. Talaga ayaw mag-iwanan. Itong dalawang kumunan, 33.8 seconds remaining. Alaska will come back out of this timeout with a chance to regain that lead. Okay. The biggest thing here, of course, is to be able to settle down. Okay, Calvin, you're going to cut down. Sai, you're going to be here. We're going to do the same thing. Step out to Eric. And coach Alex okay. Compton. Screen. Trying to set up that play. Two so full timeouts and a 30 for Rainer Shen. Only two 30s for Alaska. And neither team with a foul to give, Dr. J. JV's coming up. Okay, now, JV, come up slow. We're going to go pinky. Calvin, Calvin you got to go here. They were in the lead for most of this game, but... It was always within striking distance para sa Rainer Shine and finally nga, nahabol sila with just 33.8 remaining. If it doesn't work, that's all right. Ang ganda rito, minsan napapakinggan natin si Coach Alex Compton sa mga huddle. Straight Tagalog, yung buong huddle niya. Kausap niya kanyang mga players. You don't let the looks fool you. This guy can speak fluently in Filipino. I give him credit for that. But I want to see if we can give him credit that he's a good coach, that he deserves to be here. I talked to him just earlier and he said, it's not how you start, we have to learn how to finish. We started so well, but and a lot of people don't expect us to finish well. Now it's our test. Here's Casio. The pass inside to Abueva. Quick two, para rito sa Alaska. He says, if that was the play that was drawn play, up. Oh. Uh, terrific play. Terrific play. High fives all around sa hado ng Alaska Aces. 27.9 pa natitira. Napakahaba pa sa basketball niyan. So many things can still happen. But look at Eric Mech. Nice. Goes to JV. Yeah, nice hand off there. And JV with a nice pass. Dave Morwood, actually a very tough defender. Nagulat siya. Nasaan si Calvin? Nice that's flash. Not, you know, Flumas. Yeah. Uh, uh, from one side of the lane to the other. That's not an easy shot. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Oh, He's not using the glass. He has to shoot straight up. And look at him on defense right away. Pero sa may tawag ng timeouts. Okay. Matis, ha? Boto! Paul! Get it to Bo. I mean, uh, si ano pa, Boto. Bo! Tawag ta.
Jeff Chan ang option eh. Narinig natin doon. Pero kung wala kay Jeff, bibigyan niya kay Paul Lee. At least that's what we heard. It will be a series of picks, of course. Bob Belga volunteering himself to set that screen. Well, he is going to do that. And he is also probably going to make a pass. Pero kung ako ang Alaska, the first guy that I'm not going to let any shot go is from Paul Lee. And I'm not going to... I don't take the ball out of his hands. Then I'll have to worry about the others. But then I will worry about the others. I don't want to see Paul touching that ball. There, is, there it is. But now he has to give it up. Jeff Chan. And that's a foul. And they are in penalty. So that means free throw shots for Jeff. And Casio, yung overzealous, zealous has to try to get to the spot para depend on si Jeff Chan. Rammed right into him. This is also a very good play designed by Coach Yen. The same thing that happened on the other side. Alam mo si Jeff, hindi mabilis tumira yan. Hindi katulad ni Paul. Eh. Pero ang nangyari, nawala ng momentum and control ang saan close out ni J.D. Casio. Sinks the first. Well, there is a timeout. There is still a timeout there for Alaska if Jeff should make this. There are plenty of timeouts for Rain or Shine. No? Nako, nagmintis na. Pero, Jericho Cruz with the offensive rebound and put back all of a sudden. Lamang. Lamang. And somebody's on the floor. That's the veteran Don Don Tiveros holding on to his face. Tama ba? Well, hindi siya nag-box out. Alaska did not put the players to box out. They had some big players there. And offensive. Look, Jerick was just ran all over uh, J.P. Casio, who was trying to hold him down. Look, look at this. J.P. Casio is trying to hold him, and he runs over him. Nabangga tuloy si Don Don from the back. Ayun. Nakapalo up si Jericho Cruz. And how quickly fortunes can change sa laro ng basketball. Rainer Schein was playing catch-up. Ngayon, Alaska aces naman. And look at that reaction from the rookie. His confidence just grew after every shot he made sa larong ito. And he's played so well para kay Coach Yang Yao. Now, Rain or Shine does not have to foul anymore. They wouldn't have fouled if Jeff had made the shot also. They wouldn't have to play good defense. Now, let's see them play good defense without fouling. Yeah. 14 points for the rookie, Jericho Cruz. They made that the transition the uh, thing on the other side. We put in defensive players. Right. They put in uh, Jairi. They have Gabe there. You know, they have Belga is still there. And so is Jericho Cruz then. Saka si Paul Lee naman. So 30 second timeout. Pandagdag lang. Di pa tapos si Coach Alex Compton sa kanyang pagbibigay ng instructions. So now all of a sudden, they need to score. Yeah. Well, they have been in the driver's seat, as they say, for almost the whole night. But at the end, when there was a crucial rebound play, they were not able to get it. No rain or shine, uh, Dr. J has made it a habit, no? James so coming from behind and stealing ball games. We remember that game against Alex last week. Well, if you remember, last year, they lay up na lang si J.B. Cashew na dulas. Kaya pumasok sa finals on rain or shine. That's right. That, that layup would have already may have Shielded, clinched huh? them for them a uh, final seat. So, Jericho Cruz, 14 points, 4 assists, a lot of playing minutes. He's earning them right now. Here's Men goes over to Abueva. Well isolated. Somebody has to come over to help. There's Donto. Let's get time. Eric Men, throw by him now. Hook shot. Let's have to go back. Abueva trying to keep it alive. He's going to pick it up. Get Paul out. Lee over to. Jericho, he can seal this with the layup. Point seven remaining. And Jericho Cruz. Could be the hero. Could be the hero. Because point seven remaining. Catch and shoot. To tie this game is possible for the Alaska Aces. And look at the rookie. He just broke away. Right away. Look at drive si Eric McTuma. Takbo na si Jericho Cruz. Didn't wait anymore. And Paul Lee, quick recognition. Finding the rookie down the floor. Back-to-back -back baskets. Down by one, up by three. All of a sudden. But there's still time left on the clock. They might even add uh, a little more. Tingnan natin. They're looking at it. The referees are very fine. Ilan ba talaga natitira sa time clock noong pumasok yung tira 
Nijeriko Cruz. So three-point shot can still tie this, and point seven is enough time to get off a good shot if you set up a good play. Tinatanong nila kung madadagdagan ba? Referee says no. It's really just seven-tenths of a second. Can they force overtime? Alaska Aces. Casio, turn around. Well, we, had shot. we had the shot. We could have tied it. And Rainer Shine comes back in the end game to snatch victory away from Alaska and deny the Aces of a semifinals seat. And Paul Lee high fives the rest of the team. He led the way. Ang daming tumulong para sa Elafto Painters. And Alaska faltered near the end. Dr. J, hindi nila sustain yung laro nila throughout the 48 minutes. Well, the first thing that they were not able to do was to box out and stop a player who was able to give Rain or Shine finally the lead in the end game. And then eventually another two points on a fast break. What a game na nangyari rito. First pala ng ating double header dito sa Big Dome on PBA Friday. Player of the game, Rukian. Well, he, he played a lot of minutes in the fourth quarter. Shows the trust of the coach in him and definitely played well. There's the other Cruz. They're missing Jer Jerby. There is Jericho Cruz. Number nine pick, wearing number nine here, and certainly showing a lot of poise and character. He scored the last four points of that uh, game uh, to win, to make his team win. The best player of the game, at it's in a court, Marine Epoxy. Sintigas ng bakal, sintibay ng bato, sintatag ng isang blocking cemento. Diyan nagtatapos ang game number one ng ating doubleheader on this PBA Friday. Sangana na aking partner na si Andy House, El Guevara Corchan. I'm Charlie Kuna. Thank you for watching the PBA on TV5.